Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we worked on making some adjustments to our oil trains. Specifically the one that runs out to Yulemore. So that they can actually take goods to Yulemore once we're producing goods. And then we began working on passenger trains. So starting to build you know, a station over here. Set up a tram system in Limsa Laminsa and built a station over here in Somme. Eventually we're going to want to get one in Bedrock and another one over here in Hill Valley. And we'll have a passenger line set up there. I don't know how I'll get to Ishgard, but we'll see. That is the plan. Now, we're probably going to have to put that plan on hold slightly because I was noticing something while I was watching things off screen to make sure that everything was working with the freight system we set up for goods. And in theory, it should work. However, these trams here, the only thing they ever actually bring in is iron ore. They never actually move any coal. We have coal sitting here. It gets delivered, but they never actually pick it up. And I've been watching them for a while now, and the only thing they ever actually pick up is iron ore. So... I think we're going to have to do is come up with a different solution for getting the coal to the steel mill. So we're going to have to change how we're doing all this. Because right now we are moving coal from the coal mine via cargo trams to this station here. Then the trains are picking them up, bringing the coal over here, moving by cargo tram to here. Oh, I have that on. You can turn that off. Right. We're going to change this plan. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to build a port over here. And I'd like to make sure we get that port in a place that's within catchment. So over here would probably be good. Right there. Get a port going. And then put a port over here, like right there, and use ships to move the coal. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so in that vein, what we are going to do is we are going to decommission this line. Manage vehicles. No, not, not that vehicle. I need to manage the line. There we go. Dispose of those vehicles. Go to the line. All right. And then what I'm gonna want to do is here with this these trains. We're gonna manage those vehicles. And we're going to replace these guys with the same thing we have. We got a PLM 2200 or 2220. We're going to have five boxcars. Actually, I could probably go with... Six box cars. And a flat car. Mistakes. Was 
this is gonna be carrying steel? Yes, it's gonna be carrying steel. When we make steel, it should carry it to the goods factory. Let's go ahead and get rid of one of those. Get rid of one of those. Replace those. Alright. So now, all of this coal is kind of useless. And it will eventually uh, disappear. So, that's unfortunate. But, we're going to have another plan. Uh, this truck stop? We're going to get rid of it. Now, what we're going to have is a cargo harbor. Do I want to set it up for large ships? We might as well set it up for large ships. Make that possible. I'm going to want to have a... F keep that fairly far in the land. So just want to give the ships room to maneuver here. Okay. There we are. Auto save. There we are. And absolutely that's in catchment. Yes. All right, good. Alright, so over here, do the same thing. Now... This might be like the official harbor for the capital. So we'll probably end up expanding this significantly at some point. And that is in catchment. All right. Let's also put in a shipyard right there. Now, it's probably not that necessary, but we could go ahead and kind of lower the terrain here, just to make sure that, uh, our ships. We just basically dredge this out, make sure that, that our big ships will be able to operate without hitting the bottom. It doesn't really matter, but it's just for for aesthetics. All right, then let's add a new line. This is going to be from there to there. Does work. All right, good. This is going to be ship freight. Uh, capital coal. There we go. And we're going to need some ships. Let's see what we got. We got some cargo ships. The Rigi, 16 miles an hour. Wilhelm, the first is 14 miles an hour. You're 16. You're 14. Capacity 102 compartments, 16 miles an hour. Bingo. Give me three of them. Let's start with that.
All right, there we go. Now that has a bit of a bit of a project ahead of it. Now, if any coal does come through here, well, it's going to just disappear eventually. Yep, it's, it's just going to vanish. But we should start seeing coal here. Which we are. Alright. The ships should be, able to, should be able to pick up a lot of it, because the ships should be able to carry 200 coal per load. So yeah, that should be good. All right, well, back to the passenger project. I'll look back on that in a little bit. All right, so we got, we've got our passenger station there. But what we're gonna need is a tram system in town, which is not a problem. So let's throw some tram tracks on here. I'm just gonna kind of create a loop around the city. Throwing a bus station and a tram depot. Oh, what the? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong, hitting the wrong button. Trying to hold in shift and hitting Z instead. There we go. Okay. Uh, you should have had electric tram track, please. Thank you. Alright, I think we're going to put these on the inside of the track. We'll put one there. We'll put one there. And we'll probably put one right about there. This is going to be the tram song. What was that alert? I'm gonna go with these guys. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I should probably check the state of my vehicles. These trains are very bad and need to be replaced. I'm not so concerned about the trams. But we probably need to do an upgrade on the North Coast Line. Trains. using the problems and six of those four-wheelers. I want something quick. You're pretty quick. How fast are the problems? 50 miles an hour. You can do 62. You do 75 but you're kind of you're kind of weak. 
All right, we'll go with a 10-wheeler. Sure. And currently we're carrying six of the of these, which is 35, I think, 30. 30. All right, so I want something that can do somewhere around 60 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour. 75, teak eight wheelers. Or I can do LNWR eight wheelers. Passenger cars. I think I'll go with the teak. So two of them is what currently I have in there. That would give me double the capacity. We would need 12 million to replace them. Oh my. That's not impossible. Let's do it. Hopefully that's not a bad idea. Where's one of them so I can take a look at them? There they are. Alright, so you're got half passengers now. Hopefully we'll have capacity on here to be able to... to be able to handle that many passengers. Potentially. You're carrying 24 of 60. Thing is, there's not a lot of demand here at Ilium. Really need to try and get that population up. Gotta start feeding it some tools and stuff. If we start making good amounts of steel, we could start thinking about that. Thing is, I don't know where there's a tools factory, but you know, not worry about that just yet. We need to get. Well, what I might do is go ahead and put in this track and get a train moving on it. And then we can extend it as we go. Yeah, I think that might be the best option here. Pretty straight here because we're fairly level terrain. Try and pay down some of this loan. Oof. 
All right, delivery just came through. Lots of little bridges here, which is actually perfectly fine. That's just going to be the nature of the beast there. Here is where things are going to be interesting. Is it even possible to bridge over that? No, I don't think you can build a bridge over top of it. Can I go underneath of it? I can go underneath of it. A little tunnel there, and then we're gonna have a few little bridges there. You know what? I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. We're just gonna need a little bit of a cash infusion. Just need someone to make a delivery or two and get me some cash. There we go. Done. And we immediately went negative just as I pressed the button. Which is fine. Alright, are we delivering? There we go. Now we're making steel. And that's going to make these guys more profitable, because now they're moving product in both directions. And it's going to make that other freight train more profitable, because it's going to be able to actually start moving steel and goods. There we go. Win. If this shipping line proves very successful, we might put a few more ships on there just to make that, those deliveries a bit more consistent. All right, now I got some more cash available. Okay, so let's finish off this track. Somewhere along the line, it's got to merge. There we go. Some signals on here. This is a pretty long piece of track between stations. All right. Somewhere along here, we're going to have to put in a depot. Tad Hilly. Uh, let's do it here.
All right. That ought to do it. And actually, we're going to start here. And then come to there. That's going to make things easier to extend later on. And we're going to call this train passenger uh, valley line. Now, if I want to throw a train on there, we're going to need some cash. You do 47, which is not bad. I mean, you can do 75. And as long as we don't throw anything too heavy on there, like the Teak Six Wheelers. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. S there may be three of those. Borrow that back up. Let's go ahead and get one of those and then throw that on the valley line. Just to start with. That switch needs to be double slept. There you go. Okay. And now we'll start moving some pastures. So then we're going to need to put a station in bedrock, probably set up a tram in bedrock. Put a, The station's probably going to be like down around here somewhere. And then we'll tram. You know, run a tram system out there, and then we'll run the line all the way out here to Hill Valley. A little town, get those to start growing. And yeah, should be good to go. But I think what I'll go ahead and do is end the episode here. No passengers there yet. Two ships on there. How full are they? Not very. And it's actually running in a deficit at the moment. Capital Plastic the Goods is still running at a significant deficit, mostly because it's not really transporting anything other than plastic right now. That's going to get it to run into a deficit until it starts moving some pastures. Now we're picking up. Now we are picking up some steel. What are you carrying? Because what it should do is it should carry um, the goods back to here. And now you're carrying a load of plastic and steel. Actually, let's go ahead and... Just follow this train in, and then we'll go ahead and uh, end the episode there. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the high speed. Why are you stopped? Oh, probably because uh, someone's right up there.
Alright, how much money you're gonna make with a f near full load? Not enough to make you profitable. Alright, you actually picked up some goods. Alright, but now you have everything you need. So we should start seeing some goods pile up here, and then, you know, start making some, some deliveries. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a couple more ships. So let me actually just go. Well, I'll have to do that when I actually have some cash. But yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here for now. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.